Ladies and gentlemen, my own Gabi. In it, Kayu! <laughs> right, nosebleed time, that's it, okay, finished. Carl Lalette, congratulations. Um, it's a great honor for to invite us to your wedding. And Lalette, it's an even bigger honor for you asking Mamcha and myself to be by your side on your special day. Thank you very much. Today's ceremony was fantastic. Does everybody agree? All right, the messages that were given by the pastors, the vows and the blessings that you both give said so many things, deep things. And it almost rewrote my speech. So I am going to reiterate some of those things that are really meaningful. Okay. You are now joined in the union of marriage and may you live happily ever after. But you, like many others, are in a unique situation. Okay, you have many differences to overcome, to work together with, mainly nationalities. You come from different parts of the world. That's not a hardship. It just takes something special. Other differences that you're going to have to face, cultures, okay? Expectations may differ in each culture and it takes time to work those. Be prepared and change for each other. And you said that today in your blessings. There are different habits that we have to endure. Um, some of those habits are things like understanding what mahal and curry put means. Okay, but you'll come to that. Um, balot eating. Have you tried that? Balot. No. Okay, that's a habit that Carl will have to experience before he goes back. Um, other habits are things like Filipino timekeeping. Um, and I'm sure everybody here understands what I mean. Okay. Um, mannerisms. Okay. Learning the meaning of certain things in your marriage. Um, Carl, Lalette, you gave your vows today and you said you'd do some very special things for each other to make it possible that your union is bond forever. But mannerisms. You must understand what... And, uh, um, mouth movements, eyebrows, okay, these are some of the things that I have, I have mastered. And I can actually do it now with Mam Cha facing the other way, okay. Um, styles, learn how to adapt to each other's styles. Um, many things from clothes to actions to your own standards, oh yeah, you have to share those. The obvious difference between you two is altitude. Carl being up there and you being down here. That's not a problem. I know you will work on it. Okay. So far, for you both to be very happy, I'll give you a few words um, of wisdom that may help you in your journey. Uh, and you can call on me anytime. Okay. But I want you to keep these few things in your mind. Um, you must both be for each other. The following, husband and wife, obviously. You must be best friends. You have to be best friends. You have to share your life's thoughts and experiences. You must be buddies together. Share your work as well as your private life. Okay? You must be confidants to each other. Yeah, be each other, share your inner thoughts, share your inner feelings. Above all, you must be soulmates. You have the shoulder to cry on, you mentioned that in your vow, okay? But one thing that you really need is the encyclopedia of culture. And you must work on that, you must share your differences, you must bring them together, and you will have a successful and harmonic marriage. Never stop loving each other, never. Uh, and keep God very close to you always. I want you both to be very, very happy. Um, 
in this minute of your union and forevermore. I give you my blessing and God bless you on your journey. Thank you.